With the success of Tamagotchi Life, a game in which people put custom meats in strange or taboo situations, Nintendo released Metopia in 2016 in Japan and later 2017 for the rest of the world. However, in 2017, Nintendo launched the Nintendo Switch and that destroyed any chance that this game would ever do well. Years later, Nintendo needed to fill its lineup for the upcoming 2021 season, so Nintendo gave Metopia another chance on Switch and it did much better, selling around a million and a half units. I originally got the 3DS game for my birthday in 2017, but like like I mentioned, the Switch became more important, and when it did came to Switch, I of course gave it another chance. I did these shorter reviews on Instagram giving my thoughts on games I've beaten during that time period. If it wasn't for these reviews, I probably would have not made this video. I thought the game is if Family Guy made a cutaway gag of what an RPG game is. The game feels generic in all aspects, but its appeal comes from choosing me to play certain roles. This game wasn't intended for Switch, and if it was meant for that console, it would have been a completely different game. So I decided to do this retrospective towards the game that exists. The story itself is all about being cheap, about evil stealing for its own benefit. The games featuring the Miis are intended to appeal to the general public, so of course it would be basic as hell. But then again, there's no real characters or actually anything to make the game do anything other than to appeal to a gimmick. I get its simplicity, but why should I care? RPGs are becoming more and more popular with series such as Persona or even Pokemon having more substance than what Metopia is doing. It's intended to be like Tamagotchi Life in which it puts Miis in dangerous situations, but in an RPG setting. There's an appeal for this because you could put whatever character you want and you can get a good laugh at it but it just exists as a joke. If a gimmick wants to work it needs to be implemented in a way where it has a purpose to exist. Going back to when the Wii Sports was all the craze, the reason that the game succeeded is due to it being basic enough to be picked up and played, meaning it's not only easy to understand, but it brings meaning towards the idea. Metopia doesn't do anything but just copy from other games. Generic turn-based combat that has no substance with a class system that just exists to add variety. And it doesn't have a good world to explore. It auto-moves you through levels and acts like a platformer which just splits into levels. Again, appealing to normal people, but doesn't try to be unique or use gimmicks to its full potential. If they want to make it a part of the gimmick, they should have more player choice in which it adds more replay value. Maybe make it a roguelike, but with actual structure, and also randomized events that would also make the game end. But no! no! You also have moments where you can develop bonds and relax at a hotel, but then again, Persona and other RPGs can do a much better job at this. Even this piece of shit would work much better than Metopia. And along with the bare minimum graphics and just trying to be stupid funny, it has no substance to call its own. I know I treat the game like garbage, but with how the concept goes, it can be pretty funny depending on who you give the roles to. I remember having characters from Kingdom Hearts, Nikocado Avocado, and Sephiroth in my party, and there's plenty of potential with the idea, but played it safe because it came from the Nintendo 3DS. If Nintendo actually gave a fuck, this would be more customizable and interesting, and it would never exist if it was made for Switch, or better yet, an RPG version of 1-2 Switch, a concept no one, and I mean no one wants to see. But this game literally has no reason to exist unless you like to make a fake adventure with characters or people you love or hate. This is a filler title for the console and brings no value towards it. It would be better off just staying on the 3DS where it belonged. Despite my tone of voice, this isn't a bad game, but it also has no good value and it should be stupid cheap on sale. Get it if you want to, but it doesn't have a purpose to exist at all.